Belarus has thwarted an attack on the capital Minsk by drones launched from Lithuania, Russian state news agencies reported on Thursday, with reference to the head of the Belarusian Security Service, Ivan Tertel. The State Security Committee, in cooperation with colleagues from other law enforcement agencies, has recently carried out a number of acute security measures, which made it possible to prevent strikes by combat drones from the territory of Lithuania on objects in Minsk and its suburbs, Russian RIA news agency quoted Ivan Tertel as saying. Tertel did not provide any evidence to support his claims against NATO member Lithuania. The allegations of attempted drone attack from Lithuania came amid Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko's remarks that the country's opposition planned to seize a district in the west of the country and request support from NATO troops, according to RIA. Addressing the All-Belarusian People's Assembly VNS, meeting on Thursday, Lukashenko said I don't know why they chose Kobrin district, they talk a lot about it. They plan to seize it and appeal to NATO to deploy troops. The Belarusian leader also said that the risk of military incidents along his country's border with neighboring Ukraine was quite high. Russian state news agency TASS quoted Lukashenko as saying there could be an apocalypse if Russia used nuclear weapons in retaliation for Western actions. TASS also quoted Lukashenko as saying on Thursday that several dozen Russian tactical nuclear weapons had been deployed in Belarus. TASS news agency said the deployment was in line with an agreement announced last year by Lukashenko and President Vladimir Putin. It should be noted that Belarus is Russia's close ally and allowed Moscow to use its territory to launch its invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. The armed forces of Ukraine will have an opportunity to use U.S.-delivered longer-range Atakms tactical missiles to strike targets in Crimea, the New York Times newspaper wrote citing unnamed Pentagon officials according to the newspaper, Ukrainian forces will be able to use the recently delivered missiles to more effectively target Russian forces in Crimea. The goal is to put more pressure on Crimea, the paper says, White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told reporters earlier that U.S. President Joe Biden ordered to transfer a large number of Atakms tactical ballistic missiles to Ukraine back in February, with the delivery itself taking place in March. Later, the Pentagon press service said the handover was not made public on a request from Kiev recently, the U.S. Senate approved a package of bills to provide military aid to Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan to confiscate Russia's frozen assets for their transfer them to Kiev, and to impose additional sanctions on China. On April 20, the bills were approved in the U.S. House of Representatives. The total volume of the package amounted to $95 billion. It includes, in particular, $61 billion for Ukraine, $26 billion for Israel, as well as funds for humanitarian aid to civilians in conflict zones, including the Gaza Strip. Biden signed the law on April 24. Earlier, the New York Times reported citing a high-ranking U.S. administration official that Washington delivered over 100 longer-range addicts to the Kiev government, as well as their modification with cluster munitions. 
The newspaper said that the U.S. administration kept the delivery secret with only several high-ranking members of the U.S. Congress being aware of it.